It was a match. We, as Les mentioned, in the interim between submitting the Mary Tyler Moore and this flurry of spec writing that we did, we wrote a mash, and um, Larry Gelbart called us in for a meeting. Now, there was another example of our spec script, uh, which concerned a baseball game between uh, Hawkeyes, Minions, and was it Frank? Uh, too many exteriors. They liked the script a lot, but there was just too many exteriors, and they weren't uh, capable of uh, doing that on their shooting schedule. But they wanted us to write a write a show, and so we talked at a talked out a story with uh, Larry Gelbart and Gene Reynolds at that time. Was it just the two of them? No, they. I, well, I think it was. They were pretty much running the thing. I think they had a producer, but they were they were supervising things. Bert Metcalf was around at the time, but he yeah, wasn't. He was, I don't think he wrote. But anyway, um, it was pretty much at that time uh, Larry Gelbart's. Uh, and so what did they say to you? Uh, let's say Larry Gelbart didn't say, come with an idea. You like this script, yeah. come with another idea. Yes, yeah. exactly. And we came in with, you come in with several, of course. We came in with, I don't know, five, six, seven, something like that. And one of them they liked, and that's what we did. We had an idea about Hawkeye being mistaken, through some error in paperwork, mistakenly reported as having been killed in the war. And uh, and that was became the the late Captain Pierce, I think, was the name of that episode. Yeah. And at first, he's very upset about it. And one, a letter's been sent to his father that he was killed. And so on. then he starts to think, well, maybe this is a good way to get out, get home. If I think I'm dead, I'll just climb in a coffin and write it. So. Did they give you any kind of direction in terms of like the tone of the show, or did they just assume that you you got it having seen that first one? Yeah, I think I think the latter is the case. They, um, that's what you look for. I mean, from the other side, when we would uh, read spec scripts, uh, that's what, we wouldn't necessarily look for a story we wanted to do. We'd look uh, for writers. And uh, I think Elbert, when we met him, uh, said, "You guys hear the show. I can tell you hear it." And that phrase stuck with me for a long time because there are when you read a. St Fairly, let's say you read a fairly good story, uh, but the the writer uh, is not is not hearing the show. Doesn't hear the characters talking, and uh, you can tell it right away. So, but um, they obviously they wouldn't have given us an assignment unless they thought we could uh, we could do that. After we did the mash, um, it, we we weren't hearing from anybody. In fact, uh, they asked us to come in with another idea for a mash, and we just we tried. We, Came in with some idea, and nah, we don't want to do that. It was essentially a very fallow period. And uh, Les, who was married at the time, um, said that he was going to have to uh, go back to work and call it a day as far as the, the writing goes.